The Catholic Church, and before it all the cults of antiquity, had command of the whole domain of the means by which man is transported into unfamiliar states, and robbed of the ability to calculate coolly or to think clearly. A church trembling with deep sounds, dull, regular, repressed calls from a company of priests who involuntarily transmit their tension to the congregation and excite them to listen almost in fear, as though a miracle were about to occur. The breath of the architecture, which, as the abode of a divinity, reaches up into obscurity, in the dark spaces of which the divinity may at any moment make evident his dreaded presence. Who would want mankind to experience such things again, now that the presuppositions behind them are no longer believed in? But the consequences of all this are nonetheless still present. The inner world of the sublime, affected, tremulous, contrite, expectant states was born in man principally through the religious cult. That of it which still remains in the soul was, in the days of its germination and growth, tended and cultivated by it.